Joe Resnell with the front line with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. I want you to look at this clip. But before we watch it, I just want to kind of set it up. Here you have Trudeau basically lecturing a group of people about Christopher Columbus um, and talks about science. Roll the clip. Before much of this, um, I got fascinated by the idea of flat earthers. Now, this is an entirely new phenomenon. There wasn't really any moment back in recorded history. Now, the ancient Greeks or the ancient Babylonians or the Incas or whoever else who actually wondered whether the earth was actually flat or not. And Christopher Columbus, they knew the earth was round. There was no danger he was going to fall off the edge of the world. That wasn't what people worried about when he was setting off to discover the Americas or discover a shortcut to India. Um, but recently, over the past few years, a whole bunch of people have decided that the world is flat. Now, everything we know about science, from the people we've sent to the moon, uh, to the photos we've taken from space, to how we explain day versus night and seasons, we know that the Earth is round. But there, there are a whole bunch of people out there who have decided that the earth is flat. And they hang out with each other, and they find different ways of proving to themselves that the earth is, earth is flat. Now that may not seem like a very serious thing, because someone who believes the earth is flat is not going to necessarily cause tremendous harm to everyone else. Couple comments. I love how cultural Marxists refer to science until science doesn't support their agenda. Perfect example. Trudeau on International Women's Day basically, well, he didn't basically, he said, he said, trans women are women. Well, science, Mr. Trudeau, says otherwise because every cell of a transgender male says that he is a male. He's a male. Every single cell has a chromosome that designates him as a male, irregardless of what he did to say his penis or took chemicals or hormones. The cells of his body from conception say otherwise. But cultural Marxists, secular humanists, basically ignore that reality. That's a scientific reality. And here you have these poor people having to endure this man. And that's just what it is. Endure him. And sadly, that's what Canadians have to endure. Endure him.